Don, your father, he's under arrest for kidnapping. Kidnapping? Oh, oh no, like, that's a good one. Only I've lived with my father my whole life, and I think I'd have noticed if he had kidnapped someone. So, uh, that's a problem, don't you think? Don, your parents kidnapped you. I think the VC Andrews stories make sense to be on Lifetime because of how many twists and turns there are. There is so much fun, juicy drama. Melodrama and soap opera and gothic romance, they're stories that can be difficult to get in other places. The VC Andrews stories tell intergenerational dramatic stories about women, and Lifetime is the home for that. I would describe Dawn as a young, innocent girl who is put through some of the hardest things you can imagine, but throughout all of it, she just is resilient. We landed the jackpot with Breck. She's in nearly every scene of the first three films, um, so she had very little downtime. Her acting skills are really developed, and she was able to play a teen and somebody in their 20s and somebody in their 30s. I do consider Dawn to be a good person. I think she wants to see the best in people. I do feel like she's jaded because she has been through a lot, so she has trouble trusting people, but she wants people to be good, and she wants to see that in everyone. Do you uh, mind if I sit here? Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm Philip. I saw you the other day, and I've been trying to work up the nerve to introduce myself. Uh, I'm, I'm Dawn. So her first love interest, you meet, it's Philip Cutler. He's suave, he has this sexy Mustang, he's very confident, but he is trouble. And when they learn they're actually brother and sister, she tries to cut it off and he's still interested, which causes issues. Unlike in Flowers in the Attic, when the attraction starts between Dawn and Philip in this movie, we don't think they're brother and sister. They, they've just met for the first time so we can really get behind this budding romance. As a producer, one of the things that made it easier to tell this story was that Breck, as Dawn, is just so grounded. Her reactions are what our reactions are as an audience member. She's attracted to Philip at the beginning, as we are, and it's once she learns all this information about him that she realizes this can't happen. <laughs> I wanted to get you alone. I was hoping we could talk. About what? I just can't help but thinking of you as two different people. I mean, there's Don Cutler, and then there's the girl I fell for back at school. Philip. I mean, I'm the first boy you ever kissed, remember? Philip. No. There's a lot of hard scenes for me where I'm being aggressively talked to by a guy that I'm not interested in. It definitely can take emotionally a lot out of me, and it is so nice just to have that super kind, supportive director and crew and cast. <laughs> Resetting. <laughs> did it again, did it again. Maybe the actors themselves spent so much time together um, and they really grew to sort of respect each other and they became real friends. I feel so blessed to be working with the cast that I'm working with. Like, I'm hanging out with them on weekends because hanging out with them 15 hours a day apparently isn't enough for me. I love you for defending me, Jimmy, but I don't want you to get hurt because people are telling lies about me. I'd never actually leave you. Don't worry. I think Jimmy's a great person. I think he has a heart of gold. I think he loves his family. He loves his dawn. I think the biggest thing he's got to work on is loving himself. But all in all, I think Jimmy's a great dude. Good intentions. It's hard for me to be here with you. I mean, you were my sister, and now you're not. And Why does that make it hard? It's still me. I don't know how to describe it, and I'm really sure I don't want to. As the story unfolds, we also find out that Jimmy's kind of had some confusing feelings. He's always felt like Dawn's a little bit different, and he's always admired her, and now he realizes that she's not actually his sister. I think audiences will love how these stories just keep you on your toes. Just so insane. There's happiness, but there's sadness and emotion and love and hate and drama. What's going to be fun about the next three movies is you're going to get to see Dawn navigate the world. You're gonna see this young woman who has tremendous talent try to figure out 
um, how to move forward and you're gonna see her fall in love, you're gonna see her make some serious mistakes and you're gonna see her navigate how to get out of the traps of her family history.